this is anesthesia workstation. This is primarily used in giving general anesthesia. The two modular units that you can see over here are the vaporizers. The vaporizers helps in delivering precise anesthetic gas such as sevoflurane, isoflurane, etc. in the gaseous mixture of air and oxygen. This helps in giving a precise dose to the patient and it doesn't get affected with the change in temperature. The flow meters that you can see are of air, nitrous and oxygen. So this is air, then nitrous, then oxygen. So these are the flow meters and below you can see the pressure gauges. So below there are the pressure gauges and here you can see the screen. Whenever the anesthesia gas is delivered, it mixes with the air nitrous oxygen or air O2 oxygen. Then the vaporizers, they send the particles inside the air mixture. From the front knob, you can change the mixture from air, nitrous, oxygen. You can adjust the liters and from the vaporizer, you can adjust the anesthetic gas. The dial shows the pressure and then we have the APL valve. APL valve is adjustable pressure release valve. The key functions of the APL are first pressure regulation. The APL valve allows the anesthesiologist to set the maximum pressure in the breathing circuit. It ensures that the excess gas is ventilated out through the scavenging system, preventing barotrauma, excess pressure in the lung. Second, mode of ventilation. The valve is primarily used during manual or bag ventilation. In mechanical ventilation mode, the APL valve is bypassed and the ventilator takes over pressure control. Third, adjustable settings. The valve has a knob that allows the user to adjust the desired pressure limit. For spontaneous breathing, the valve is typically fully open, low resistance to gas flow. During controlled manual ventilation, the anesthesiologist partially closes the valve to achieve adequate ventilation pressures. Fourth, safety feature. It acts as a safeguard by limiting pressure in the system to prevent over distension of the patient's lung. Now after this, the front portion and this is the selection switch. Now we have placed the selection switch toward the ventilator. So here is the bellow which goes up and down. So there is up and down movement of this. And in the when we select bag from this pipe, the bag gets filled. So if we have selected that, so this would have got the air and with anesthetic gas. Below this, there are flow sensor and O2 sensors. Now this is the CO2 absorber canister. It has soda lime absorbent. So this uh, absorbs the exhaled CO2. Now switching on the anesthesia workstation. So after switching on, rotating this knob, the system will start. It will load the software. You can see in the display, the software is being loaded. So after this, everything will come on the screen. In the display, you can see the VT below is the button. With that, you can select and in rotatory knob, you can change. See, when I am rotating the knob, it's changing and again pressing, it freezes the value. Now, if I go to rate, I rotate the knob, change the value, then I to a change the value, then pressing the knob, again the value is fixed. So likewise you can change the values. So according to the clinical need, the values are changed. This button is the alarm silence button and from this there is the main menu, ventilation modes and everything that comes over here. Then we have the alarm silence, then this button. Now here we will select the ventilation modes. Here there is volume control, pressure control, SIMV, PSV Pro mode. Now. Let us first go to this. In the pressure control, you can see the values required for the pressure control modes that can be set. Pressure inspired rate, IS2E, likewise. So below, you can see all the parameters. Then we pressing this switch. Now if we want to change the word, we need to go to ventilation mode. Then if we select this, then you can see pressure inspired rate. These values will come in the SIMV mode. So, and by a selection switch and rotary knob, we can change the values. You can see from this selection switch, there are alarm settings, setup calibrations and all these things are visible over here. And last is exit to normal. So, in ventilation modes, we... Now, we have selected the volume control mode. In volume control mode, we need to set the tidal volume, rate, ice to e ratio, pressure limits and P. The screen the expired tidal volume during expiration the data of the expiration is displayed on the screen 
here we have started the volume control ventilation you can see the graph on the screen graph and the parameters during expiration like O2, the tidal volume and frequency everything is displayed over here then below you can see the bag moving upwards and downwards the bellow is moving upwards and downwards and the gauge you can see the pressure just above the APL valve you can see one gauge now we will have a little bit of closer look on the gauges and the valves you can see below there are gauges and rotatory knobs so you can see by precise movement we can change the flow meters you can see the notch moving and there is a white dot in the meniscus which tells the exact levels like O2 here you can see how accurate they are you can see one dot is moving which shows very precise value this is in liters per minute now you can see one dot is moving and below there are gauges for air air pressure then nitrous and oxygen here mostly we use air and O2 after this we close the knob and switch off this machine after taking it to standby after standby the ventilator gets off due to its low flow technology and ease of use these anesthesia workstations are used widely for anesthesia